we're now going to use everything that we learned to decompose a rational expression. So suppose we start with 2x plus 4 over x squared plus 1 times x minus 1 squared. So the first thing we're going to recognize is that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. And so we're going to need to worry about x cubes on tops, but we'll get there in just a second. We'll look at our factors. We have an irreducible distinct factor, so that's going to give me an ax plus b on top. And then we have a repeated linear factor. So we're going to start with the highest degree and then decrease by 1 until we get to the bottom. And since they're linear, we just get a c and a d. And again, we multiply both sides by that denominator. And that means that we're going to multiply each piece by what it's missing. So we get 2x plus 4 equals the ax plus b that's already there, times the piece that it's missing, which is the x minus 1 squared, plus the c times the piece it's missing, which is just the x squared plus 1, plus the d times what it's missing, which is the x squared plus 1, and a single x minus 1. Well, x minus 1 quantity squared is x squared minus 2x plus 1. And x squared plus 1 times x minus 1 is x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. Distribute, and we're going to get a 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals ax cubed minus 2ax squared plus ax plus bx squared minus 2bx plus b plus cx squared plus c plus dx cubed minus dx squared plus dx minus d. Alright, there's our really, really, really long problem. And again, we're going to start with the x cubes. So I'm going to underline everything with an x cubed in it. And that gives me the equation for my x cubes. That a plus d equals 0. And that's going to be important here in just a minute. Let's go to our x squareds. We got... Everybody's got an x squared. So we get an a... Two, minus 2a. Let's make sure we get the right one. Minus 2a plus b plus c minus d equals 0. Our x's, we come back in, we've got a 2x, an ax, a minus 2bx, and a dx. So we get a minus 2b plus d equals 2. And last but not least, our constants gives me a b plus c minus d. And so what I'm going to use here, and this is going to be equal to 4, what I'm going to use is I'm going to recognize that b plus c minus d is the same as b plus c minus d, and a plus d is the same as a plus d. So I'm going to replace this one with this one, which is equal to 0. So I get minus 2b plus 0 equals 2. So minus 2b is 2, and that makes b a negative 1. And I'm also going to come up here to this one, minus 2a, b, 2a plus b plus c minus d, and I'm going to replace the b plus c minus d with 4. So I'm going to get minus 2a plus 4 equals 0. So minus 2a equals a minus 4, or a equals 2 when I divide by that minus 2. So now that I know what a is, and I know what b is, it becomes a lot easier to find c and d. In fact, d is really easy because 2 plus d equals 0, which means d is a negative 2. So let me highlight these so they're real easy to find. So then I'm just going to take this equation here. I'm going to get b plus c minus d equals 4. So minus 1 plus c plus 2, c plus 1 equals 4, and that means c is 3. So by using the pieces that show up in multiple equations, I was able to shortcut this process. Otherwise, I would have had to use the Gaussian elimination that we've used in other 
earlier and other problems to try and get this down, but I'm going to take advantage of what I have to make this one work. Well, now that I know that a is 2, b is minus 1, c is 3, and d is minus 2, I can come back up and I can rewrite this as a, which is 2x, minus 1, because that's b, over x squared plus 1, plus c was 3, over x minus 1 quantity squared, minus 2 over x minus 1. And here is my partial fraction decomposition of 2x plus 4 over the quantity x squared plus 1 times the quantity x minus 1 squared.